tonight as we sharpen our weapons tonight. We thank you. Uh, somebody's on the phone. Please turn your... Who's on the phone with us, guys? I don't know. Guys, I know the devil is a liar. I don't know what that is. But something has come through on our uh, conference call tonight. But devil, we bind you. Therese? Hello? So something has happened and some spirit, you guys, has come in on our line, on our conference line. This has never happened like a CB or something or that a line is crossed. We're getting interference, but the devil is a liar tonight. I'm not sure what that is. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. You can't get on me, okay. See, yeah, that, that I don't know what that was. guy, the devil. I I disconnected the call, Minister Doris. If you're on that call, I disconnected that call. I'll go ahead and dial back in. I'm not sure what the devil, what that was. The devil is a liar, but we'll move forward tonight with the lesson. Amen. Okay, I'm gonna dial in, Tasha. But we were on the phone. We got interference just now. And uh, we hung up. All right, we'll go ahead and call back in for you for every anybody else that wanna that's dialing in right now. So I apologize. We had to drop that call because we had gotten some interference. And you know what? It's because the devil don't want y'all playing tonight. But we're gonna move forward with it. Let me give me a second, guys. Get everybody on. Okay. Okay, it's all right. Please announce yourself. This is Providence. Can you hear from Zyna Hop? Do you hear this still? There's interference. Right here. Shut your... Do y'all hear the interference that's on the phone? This demonic spirit. Does anybody else hear it? Just hang up the line, you guys. Just hang up because something is happening with our, I don't know if there's a cross in our connection tonight. So we got to move forward because I see distractions are really coming to kind of take away from what God wants to do tonight. But I decree and declare that the devil is a liar. He's a liar, you guys. I have Dennis, who do not, um, I don't know whether it's eat certain foods or maybe. You guys, my name's Greg. I don't want to be with a large black man. Some reason I fantasize about a big black cock sliding up in me, sucking on it and licking it. Just having the guy totally do me. Okay, I'm going to. Me, um... Oh, maybe more than one, two or three. To start conference recording, press 1. To return to the conference, press star. Yeah, guys, uh, masculine, muscular. Please enter your PIN followed by the pound or hash. Hold on, ladies. If you do not know your PIN, please enter pound or hash. Thank you. Please enter your PIN followed by the pound. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the recording right now. I'm not sure who called in with um, this derogatory um, talking, but uh, hold on so that we Hi can guys. silence. Hi guys, Harry, around my penis and my. I can't believe it! Wow. Okay, um, I am. I do apologize to everyone. We just had a uh, someone to call in on the conference line um, with some very uh, de derogatory, uh, inappropriate language, and we had to uh, stop the teleconference. So um, we're going to. I'm going to pause for a second. For those of you who have joined us again, I do apologize theatrical release what up john ashton welcome to the program uh, hey guys my name's Greg. i want to be with a large black man for some reason i fantasize about a big black cock sliding up in me and sucking on it and licking it just having the guy totally do me have his way with me you know maybe more than one two or three you know getting it and throwing four cum and tasting it and licking on it and 
you know, just having a big black cock all over me. That's Try it out. This for a long time. Hey, yeah, you bet. Me. Sir, if you are going to get sodomized by a group of large black men, may I suggest spunk lube for all your lubrication <laughs> needs? Yeah, would love to grab your head. Yeah. Put my big monster paws, fucking cock, to your face. Start pissing right in your mouth and all over your face. Have you exposed that fucking egg bottom fucking hot fucking ass ring? Let me piss on it. Put my fucking dick right to it. Piss in it. Slide my cock up in your fucking hot ass and start charging you up with just fucking gallons of fucking sperm. Gallons, huh? That'd be interesting. You are heathen, sir. <laughs> And in comes the next caller. <laughs> Spunk lube, ladies and gentlemen. Lube. Slavery used to be legal. I agree with slavery. I love abortion clinic. You know. Anti contacts. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> Likes big black cock. <laughs> really, if you're gonna you go big or go home, I guess. What a way to bring us to our first break. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just adding them all into our, our database here is Frank Call, so they just, you know, something we like. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll not take that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pros. Let's, yeah, let's throw a break. Let's do that. We'll be yeah. back right after this. We need to find some big black cock. Yeah. Cock! Gotta do something with them. Okay, let's check him out. It's your man, the one only Mr. Sam 44 man. Who is this? I wouldn't be surprised if in the wake of this, somebody writes a think piece about how this is another example of white supremacy, that this is akin to um, uh, Rosa Parks, uh, except the other way around of, uh, you know, not giving up or see it on the bus, that this would be a hate crime of sorts if a white man declines a fair cash offer from a black man who happens to be far more deserving of a seat with leg groom. To say no to that in today's day and age, just saying, that could be considered a hate crime. Well, well. you're one to fucking talk, bro. Honestly, you're one to fucking talk. You called in for that? You're that obsessed with me that you're listening to the show and you want to say that? What am I stealing? Complainer numbers? These were submitted to me by a listener, first of all, so I'm doing the calls. Second of all, Brad and me have been doing complainer numbers way before you fucking showed up around here. I mean, whatever fucking story you got, that, oh, yeah, I used to do shows way back in the 90s, whatever. Is that a real person? Or is that a... No, that is someone... Uh, recorded. Who, that is someone who has a podcast mm -hmm. and uh, called in and played the podcast... Through the phone line. Well, I'm famous now, baby. For real, for real. You took up that much time to holler at your man to say that racial shit. Seriously. Let's have a round of applause for your man. The one only Mr. Sam 44 man. Come on, because if it wasn't for me telling the truth, you wouldn't show all this hate. <laughs> it's your man. The one only Mr. Sam 44 man. Who is this? Hello? Hey guys, Hello. I carry around my penis and my balls, cross <laughs> masturbator, I just jerk off, I take my own cum, love a kiss, suck, fuck, jerk off, eat ass, six to nine, and yeah, we, we get off together. I'm not into that, player. <laughs> you gotta check out the LGBT, alright? What is going on? Sam, man, you done upset some folks. What's I happening? said I was going ham today and I'm still not finished yet. To take that much time and effort to call this number for wherever you call me from around this planet just to say that hateful racist stuff. This is our problem, world. You heard it for yourself. But well, what if he feel that you being hateful and racist and, and racist? How? And how? How? I don't know. I'm, I'm a descendant of slaves. How can I be racist? That's true. It's your man, the one only Mr. Sam 44 man. Who is this? So, um, I just need to tell you guys about my little story. It was, uh, I was masturbating to porn, uh, in the lounge room on my computer. Oh. And <laughs> I was masturbating to lesbian porn and my daughter happened to walk in on me while I was 
stroking like a demon. I was about on the third, third, <laughs> third and last stroke about to shoot a load, and then my daughter walked in on me, and uh, she busted me jerking off, and um, <laughs> they, they, walked, they walked in on me. Her and her friend went to the shops, and I was, um, yeah, beating it off like a demon. And then um, all of a sudden, the front door come bursting open with her and a friend, and uh, I jumped up and yelled out, I'm masturbating! And uh, I was, like, naked. And my daughter, looked, my daughter looked at me, shook her head, and a friend just stood there staring at my penis. <laughs> they, they were 17 at the time, so it's all legal. I was just masturbating. Yeah, okay, right, she called me. Great, great, great. See, see, see the distractions, ladies and gentlemen? You're using my platform to endorse whatever it is you're doing. And it's nothing. Nothing. Just a distraction to keep away from what I said. Don't even answer it if it ain't coming from her number. Because, you know, the stupidity, ladies and gentlemen. This person kept calling me. Y'all listened the whole time I was talking to y'all. How they kept calling after, 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 after. See?